I have to spend a lot of time writing and editing and rewriting when I want to communicate science to non-expert audiences. It certainly can be challenging to write understandable and engaging texts on scientific topics, but I think it is worth it. Luckily, there are some well-established rules and guidelines on how to make your writing better and more accessible to someone who is not in your field of research. In this video, I am going to introduce the most important ones. This stylized clover leaf sums up the key writing tips in four categories, short, simple, structured, and dynamic. This means consciously avoiding complexity. So keep your sentences short if possible, and also keep it simple. Use commonly used expressions and avoid jargon. If you want to say osteosarcoma, use bone cancer instead. Myocardial infarction, just say heart attack. And if you do really have to use a technical term, explain it. To illustrate numbers, give them context by using relatable examples. How large is the moon compared to the size of the earth? Well, if the earth is an orange, the moon is approximately as big as a walnut. Structured. This means being clear about the logical structure of your text or presentation. Keep your paragraphs short, particularly when publishing on digital forums such as blogs and websites. For longer articles, use subheadings. Giving an overview before you present your data can also be helpful. Keep your text dynamic. It will come to life if you follow two important stylistic rules. Use verbs instead of nouns. Instead of measurements show, try we measured. Write an active voice where possible. How about writing samples were measured and analysed as opposed to we measured and analysed the samples. Doesn't that sound much better? Also, examples with illustrations often make text livelier and easier to understand. One last tip to improve your writing style is to consider the editing of your text as an important part of the process. It is always best to edit with fresh eyes. And the best part, all these tips are not just for science communication, they're also helpful for scientific writing. And of course, practice makes perfect. I hope the clover leaf will help you to avoid the most common mistakes.